first things first how you been man how's uh everything been running uh i needed it like i took a like a two-day vacation just kind of like clear my head and stuff oh, of course it's important uh, to do that yeah yeah and then yeah i'm <sighs> listen Kay, there's been a lot of stupid drama that that, is, that hasn't Always been is. necessarily about Wu Chang, but it's involving. So, one, my life is good. Things are, you know, going really well for uh, Wu Chang and the events that we're doing. The only thing we're having issues with is like getting people to sign up because a lot of people aren't really confident themselves to do something like Wu Chang Idol. Yeah. Um, because, it, you know, I've talked to people and they're like, I just have the confidence. I'd love to do it, but, you know, I'm, I'm too scared. And that's understandable, right? Uh, so like that's the only like concern that I have about Wu Chang so but I recently talked to Mel, right? Like Mel Rickenbacker, and I signed him to Wu Chang. And this is that has then led to a bunch of stupid stuff where essentially um when I signed Mel, I asked him if he had any debt. He said he did. So I gave him five thousand dollars out of like Wu Chang, right? And was like, this is like, you know, signing bonus. If you ever need more money, let me know. Because he's going to do a bunch of music with Damien, Gladys. Because yeah. we also signed Gladys, by the way. She she signed back. Um, and long story short, he asked me if I had any enemies. Because he's like doing a, like a, a song or whatever. It's called List. And so I said that I have one person that I really dislike. And his name is Bobby Beltram. But I also said <clears throat> that this guy is dating an artist and I run a tight ship and it would get messy if something was to happen to him, right? Because she's, in, you know, like it's Sudi and you know who Sudi is. Um, and it's Sudi's boyfriend. So like, huh? you know, I put business before everything else. It would get messy. And you know, so I'm not, I would never do anything to him uh, because I don't want to conflict the business. Yeah. And the number one thing I told you when I started this job was that I want to put Wu Chang first. So Mel apparently went and shot him or stabbed him or something and Sudi was there as well and she got hit in the crossfire accordingly like you know um so now Sudi and bobby think that i put a hit out on them and one that's infuriating to me because if i'm gonna ask anybody to do anything for me it's you guys you know because i'm i feel close to you and i feel comfortable enough to talk to you about that not mel rickenbacker who i've only met one other time when i was seeing his son outside of maldini's yeah. You know, like that makes no sense whatsoever. And I didn't know Mel was as insane as he is. Oh, he's crazy. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. So now they think I put a hit out on him and it's infuriating to me because if I'm going to do something, Kay, I, I think you kind of understand the person that I am. Like I'm a, I like to do things on my own. So if yeah. I was to do something like that, I would never, like if anything, I would ask you guys to kidnap him and then I would do something to the guy myself. Right. Yeah. And, or like, I would just ask you guys to do it because like, you know, I feel comfortable with you guys. So it's infuriating to me that they think I just randomly put out a hit with an old man and like, I don't know. And now like there's issues because they don't believe me for whatever reason. And apparently I've, I found out that Bobby's a quote unquote clown. Like, you know, these clowns that are running around doing all that crap. Oh my God. I fucking hate the clowns too, man. Yeah, so <laughs> if something happens to me, it's probably the clowns legit. I didn't, uh, I, I don't know, man. I like, again, there was no hit or anything like that in the slightest. Fucking clowns, And it's dude. being blown out of proportion and they're not believing me. And it's just really, really infuriating. If I was the person I used to be, I came very close to taking the AK that I stole from Mickey the other day and just airing it out on them very very close because they were just pushing my buttons entirely um so like that was a, a lot to deal with and then apparently they're spreading rumors as well calling me a piece of trash and all this other crap and so like i've been hearing that left right and center i've been having to explain the situation between me and mel for like freaking 10 to 15 times a day man on top of like everything else that i'm dealing with like out of city and in city and then also trying to manage wu chang as well so it's just a lot so i just needed like two days to just kind of vibe you know yeah, it's good. You know, sometimes you got to clear your mind. And, you know, when there's situations like that, you say your part, honest and true. If he's telling the yeah. truth, 
There's really nothing to fucking worry about. The truth is there. They could decide to believe it or not. That's on fucking them what they do after that. But you keep, you know, your head straight. Keep going fucking forward. Focus on your goals. And that's how you do it, you know? Winners focus on, uh, on uh, you know, getting shit done, man. Winning, bro. They don't focus on these other motherfuckers chit-chatting. Let yeah. them chit-chat, you know? True. But, um, like, for me, I, I want to ask you, what do you want me to do if they try to come for me or something like these quote unquote clowns oh if, they, if the clowns come for you we, uh, i'll take care of those motherfuckers so we, i've dealt with those clowns before and we've taken care of them okay i really appreciate that man it means a lot to me um ever since the situation where you blew up mdm um Dwayne hasn't even spoken to me well he did say one thing and i know he went on vacation or whatever uh but he was like oh you know your boss is um blew up mdm and i was like really you know and i acted like i didn't know and it was like yeah he was like that's the kind of people you're working for and i was like okay you know like i didn't say anything in response i just let him walk away but you know it was like what i said to you guys and uh damien you know i've it's been a long time since i've had any sort of like quote unquote family that i feel like would do something for me when it comes to that so it made me smile it made me realize you know that you actually value me i mean i knew you did and everything but it was just kind of like that validation because more often than not, I just kind of like yeah, keep my yeah. head low. If that's, you know, if that well, I I think, uh, I think that makes sense. Well, I think, I think he got the message. I think he got the message. He definitely did. Uh, but yeah, so, man, um, like outside of that. Yeah. Tell me about this good. debt of yours. What's, what's going on with your debt? Okay. So essentially I took, so, okay. I had, this is a very sentimental uh, thing. So the Lamborghini Aventador means a lot to me because the city that I used to be in before I came here a very, very long time ago, um, I had a dog and this is again, like this is going to be, it's, it's one of those things that one of those stories that like a personal have story to, have to suspend. Yeah. And well, kind of, so there was this dog in that city, right? Yeah. That nobody wanted to play with because the dog was, um, was deaf so the only way you could really play with the dog is by you know like you know like that yeah right and so nobody wanted to associate with that dog but i seen that and i did right and uh for like four or five months that dog was my dog and that dog randomly showed up one day with like a couple million dollars in a, in a briefcase. And I know this sounds wild, right? And it gave me the money in that suitcase and I bought a Lamborghini Aventador with it. And so that was like when I seen that it was available off of Ray, I sold my Camaro and the G-Wagon to get that as like a tribute slash homage to my former dog because I haven't been able to speak to that dog in like two years because they went off to Doggy University. So, you know, it kind of like has that sentimental value. So I went like full, I full sent it into debt just to make sure I got that as like, you know, cause it, it means person like something personal to me. But uh, there's a house that I really want. And that's the reason why I'm trying to pay <laughs> off this debt because if I can get that, then I can actually get the house that I really like, you know, am actually wanting and not live in Torben's house. So. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Well, yeah. There's a rule that I live by, and that rule is very simple. If someone's eating good, everybody's eating good. If you around me and you ain't eating good, I'm gonna make sure you're eating good. Cause that's how people should fucking operate. If someone's eating good, they should make sure everybody's eating fucking good. Otherwise, what's it all for? So here's what I'm gonna True. do. Fuck a loan. I hate loans. That shit's a scam. I'm just gonna give you a million dollars straight up cash. Wait, what? Wait, wait, can you what? You might want to take that, put that in a bank somewhere safe, because you know uh -huh. how the city can get. You might get some clowns out here trying to rob you or some shit like that. So yeah, make sure you get that money safe. What? Get your debts you figured sure? out, and, and get your fucking head on straight. Get this house. Get your car secured. Can't be having okay. that shit repoed, man. It ain't a good look for the company. Okay. All dude. right, and you stay positive, man. I, dude, 
thank you so much. Ser it's all I am. No problem, man. No Dude, problem. You've been doing you. a lot of hard work here in the company, and it's uh, it's deserved. I'm I'm actually speechless, dude. This is how we operate, man. I'm telling you, and that's how you should operate. If you got a crew with you and you eating good, I need to know that you're gonna make sure that they're eating good. Yeah, I I definitely um yeah wow, I wow. Dude, I... <laughs> hey man, you might want to get that shit in the bank, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna... Kate, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's a mixture of laughing, tears, and like, holy cow! Thank you so much, Mister K. I thank you. Just thank, thank you, man. No problem. Man. We'll be in touch, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. like that baby that's how we operate man that's how we fucking operate <laughs> 